FMJ Software releases a Wave Studio version 12.0, updated instrument editor and audio file format converter. Welcome to Music Gears where we bring you the latest info on new music instruments, software, and other gear from around the world. FMJ Software has announced the release of a Wave Studio version 12.0, saying, since the early 90s FMJ Software has provided the world of synthesizer and audio enthusiasts with sampler instrument editing and audio file format conversion software. The new version of the flagship product, a Wave Studio version 12.0, shows that it is still very much alive and kicking. The focus this time has been on the user experience, with a new property inspector pane ensuring easier editing, addition of an undo slash redo system, and navigation history, and fine-grained support for overriding parameters at any level of the instrument hierarchy. Other improvements include additional LFOs and envelopes, effect channels, and new parameters. File format support was improved for SFZ, SF2 and NKI, and it can now read and write decent sampler presets and Kurzweil PC3K files. Features carried over from earlier versions include support for 300-plus file formats, graphical editors for key maps, loops, envelopes and waveforms, and a built-in software synthesizer for auditioning and for rendering MIDI songs to audio clips. Grab the free 30-day trial version asterisk and test it out, asterisk partially restricted save functionality, available for Windows only www.msoft.com slash studio. New features, in brief, for version 12.0. There is now an undo slash redo system. There are new navigation history buttons on the toolbar. You can also use mouse forward slash back buttons. The pop-up property dialogues have been retired. In their place is a new property inspector pane, filling the right-hand side of the main window. Articulation parameters can now be individually overridden on any level of an instrument, where before you could only override all or nothing. There are now four envelopes and four LFOs, one of each for volume, pitch, filter and pan. Added support for up to three envelope release segments, as well as an initial level. The effect channels has been increased from two to four. Added velocity to LFO depth and random to pan parameters. For sound font two files. SF2, what is in that format called instrument global parameters, are now mapped to layers rather than regions. This can potentially make the files marginally smaller, but more importantly, fewer parameters need to be stored. For contact files, NKI, the format's group parameters are now mapped to layers when reading. Non-overlapping layers may be merged though, typically for drum kits, in which case the parameters move to the region instead. For SFZ v2 files, SFZ, the format's parameter setup, with three levels of individually overridable parameters, now maps directly to that of the program. Added support for Akai S3000 slash S5000 slash S6000 envelope 3. P slash AKP. Added support for rare MIDI format 2 files. MID. Added support for rare roll-in sequences with pattern triggers. SVQ. Added support for reading Kurzweil PC3K slash Forte song format. P3K slash 4. Added support for reading Unreal Engine 3 slash 4 slash 5 Soundwave assets. UAsset. Added support for reading and writing decent sampler presets. Spresit. New features, in brief, for the previous version, 11.7. The layout of the articulation property pages have been changed to better illustrate how values are summed together for modulation. They have also received a touch of color here and there. Trigger parameters are now available both on the layer level and, as before, on the region level, where they now act as overrides to the layer. Improved SFZ format support. You can now choose between saving as SFZ v1 or SFZ v2. Define and include directives are now understood. Support for several new opcodes were added. Improved conversion to Kurzweil K2000 format.
KRZ. It now identifies stereo waves either dual mono or interleaved, and saves them in the synth's preferred format, two mono waves under a single ID. When reading, the native envelope can now be converted. Added support for writing Kurzweil PC3K series files. P3K. Added beta support for writing Kurzweil Forte series files. 4. Added a loop tuning parameter. Added a delay time parameter to the region trigger. Added velocity slash mod wheel slash aftertouch to resonance parameters. Added a random to pitch parameter. You can now save an individual layer or region to any format to which you can save an instrument. Similarly, a MIDI track can be saved to anything that can handle a MIDI song. A number of bug fixes and minor improvements. Please click the like button if you found this video helpful, and if you'd like to stay informed on the latest in music gear releases and limited time discount offers, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.